In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint a cactus garden using the Bria Reese watercolor paint kit. This kit comes with 12 tubes of professional watercolor paint, three paint brushes, a pencil, a sharpener, an eraser, a palette, and a watercolor paper panel. First, I'm going to fill my palette. For this project, I'll be using titanium white, cadmium yellow, orange, magenta, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, viridian, forest green, burnt umber, and black. You'll also want a small water dish and a paper towel. Next, I'm going to use my pencil to lightly sketch the outline of my plants and pots. If you want your plants to sit in front of one another, you can draw the full outline and then erase the overlap. When you're happy with your layout, use your eraser to get rid of any extra lines or darker areas. To begin painting, I'm going to wet my number 10 flat paintbrush and pick up a small amount of yellow to move to the mixing area. Then I'm going to pick up a small amount of forest green and mix it with the yellow. I'm going to fill in the cactuses, remembering to start with my lighter, watered down colors. As you continue to paint your cactuses, mix up new shades of green with the yellow, blue, and green paints. Remember to keep re-wetting your brush to allow the watercolor to move freely. When the base color of your cactuses is dry, we'll start painting the clay pots. I'm going to mix my orange, white, and burnt umber colors. You can paint your pots any color you'd like. Use either the number 10 flat brush or your number eight round brush to fill in the pots. I'm going to paint my center pot slightly darker shade to help it stand apart. When the pots are dry, we'll start adding some details with our number one round brush. I'm going to wet my brush and then pick up some orange paint for a pattern on the side of the pots. I'm going to use less water in the paint for my details so that the color is darker and more saturated. Next, I'm going to clean my brush and pick up some forest green paint with a bit of yellow. This cactus will get some vertical lines. The larger cactus will get small dots to represent its spiky needles. And then this little one will get some horizontal stripes up each leaf. I'm also going to add some flowers to the center cactus using my magenta and orange paints. Lastly, I'm going to paint a delicate black line to define the edges. I'm happy with all of the details and colors, so I'm going to finish my painting by adding some light shadows to show depth. I'm going to use a very watered down mix of magenta and ultramarine blue with my number eight round brush, but you can use a different color if you'd like. All of my shadows are going to be on the left side of my plants because I want the light to look like it's coming from the right. And that's it. You've completed your little cactus garden watercolor painting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using the Bria Reese watercolor kit. Don't forget to tag Bria Reese when you post your art online so we can see what you create.